Hi guys, welcome to the Kent Survival Channel. Thanks very much for clicking through today to look at this video. Uh, I'm going to be showing you how to make a pot hanger, bushcraft style pot hanger. Um, I've had one in another video and a lot of people have asked how I did that. It's the only one I've ever made, so take it for a grain of salt, but I'll show you what I do. Well, firstly, you're gonna to have to find a branch or, or limb of a tree. Um, they've been doing some uh, cutting back here in this woodland so I only try and use uh, dead wood for this sort of thing. Um, got this branch here, what you're looking for is something an inch or two wide, something to work with there. And you're looking for where a limb comes off of the main part of the branch here, because you want that hook shape and you'll be cutting it here. So I've got this and a couple of others, I'm going to see which ones match. You want two, um, you want enough, enough of it to work with, say a foot or so, maybe just over a foot. Uh, 30 centimetres, 40 centimetres um, and you're going to need two sections, I'll show you how to cut that um, and you want them to be very similar in size, in diameter. Going to be using the uh, Bucko Laplander folding saw today. Uh, I've had this just a little while now and I'm loving it. I've um, been in the false economy of getting cheap folding saws and I've had three or four break this year alone so going with the Bucko. So you want to cut this just below where the uh, limb comes out from. So this smaller limb here is going to be where my hook is, so I only need a small section of that. And this larger bit I'm going to be cutting into and joining to the other, so I'm going to need a chunk of that. Uh, if I cut more than I need, I can trim it back at camp. Here you can see the shape of that piece I've cut. I just need to do one more the same and get back to camp. To make your pot stand all you're going to need is a saw of some sort, got the Laplander here and a good knife for carving with. This is the Condor Bouchelot. It may also be handy to have a baton of some sort handy, just a piece of wood will do, you don't have to make one. Okay we have here our two pieces, they are roughly the same size, they're pretty much exactly the same size actually, and your goal is to make this kind of a shape so you can hang this up and you can hang your pot from here so you need to determine what your overlap is going to be uh, I'm going to make this one a little longer than the one I've already got I think and we're going to cut in it's kind of like a dovetail joint almost so you want to come in at the same angle as the limb that's coming off I'll show you what I mean so this is coming in here, so we need to do the same. Yeah, so you're going to come in at around a, a 45, maybe a little steeper than that. And you want to come about halfway in because your two pieces are the same diameter so you want them to end up the same by cutting half off of both. So we'll do the same for this one. Right, next we're going to batten down to this point. So around halfway.
So you can see we've got quite a twisted grain on this piece here. So you can see that's gotten us most of the way there. The rest we can just carve with the knife. And I'll just do the same to the second one here. That one was almost perfect. All right, so I'm just gonna carve these down so they're a bit neater. We'll go on to the next step. And this is quite hard to show, but you want this piece to fit right in the inside of the notch there and the same on this side, and we're about right there. Now if you've got a bit of a gap this side like I have, you can take just a tiny bit off the end there and likewise for the other end. Now what you want to do is match this angle onto this piece. So you can see how that would slot into there once you've cut this corner off. So you want to get that angle as close as possible. Um, don't worry too much because you can fettle it with your knife afterwards. I'm just going to do it flat here, get that out of the way. The Lapland is good because it uh, has a dual purpose blade, it's good on both dry and uh, green wood, so I'm really liking that. Just going to match that 45. And you want to do the exact same on your other piece. So if you can see that, you can see that I've come up a little short here, so I've got a bit of a gap. So I need to take just a little bit more off of here, just to match that, so that can push down. And we're very close. I think the only thing really stopping us now is just to take this kind of a, a little bit here where it splintered off. If I take that off, I think we might be there. Okay, other than the bow in the wood here, we're looking pretty good. We're fitting in quite well. This isn't too important because our next step will take care of that. So next up, if I show you on my completed one, we're going to make this gap for our holding pin. Now this one, it was uh, green wood, so where the shrinkage has happened, it's pulled apart a little bit, whereas this has uh, not shrunk down, but uh, that's something you can change. I can take that back out and then just trim that down. We can do the same on here. So you're going to be making a notch in the middle, and you're just going to want to mark that out so it matches up. So with that marked, I'm just going to saw into that. Doesn't have to be too much. Five mil will do. Once you've sawn your two ends, you want to go in and do it every few mil, just small gaps, making it easier to clear out the waste. Once all your notches are there, you can get in with your knife and you should be able to just break them off. And then you can just neaten that up and do the same on the other piece. Now that you have your hole and it's all lined up, like so, you're going to get yourself a small off cut, about the same width, can be a little longer than the uh, width of this piece. And you're basically kind of having, going to have that in there like that. And we just need to batten that down to fit that. We're just going to take a little fettling. So you want to keep going back and checking this. until you're in the right place. Once you uh, think you're the right size to fit in your hole, just chamfer off the edges a little with the knife. 
and it needs to be a good tight fit and lock it in there and you should have I mean these bits of wood were bowed the wrong way so it's not perfect but that's pretty secure in fact that's pretty tight now you're going to probably want to come back to it after a while shrinkage in the wood and stuff and it being outside like with that one but uh yeah that's basically how you do it you can strip the bark off and whatnot so this is going to be the best way to use your pot hangers uh, with a couple of wire sticks just jammed into the ground and uh, another piece over the top and you can just hang them on like so and there'll be plenty good enough to take the weight of your billy can full of food or whatever uh, I was going to make these different sizes but they appear to have come out around the same size so that's how to make yourself a pot stand hope you found that helpful uh, if you have you might like some of my other videos I'll stick some up on the screen for you to take a look at uh, until next time though thanks very much for watching see you soon